We'll take our eight, about 8.5 grams of copper chloride, put it in there, and we want to dissolve it. And there's a couple ways we can do that. Um, one way is to do it this way, but it might spill a little bit if you do it that way. So typically, take this and stir it up and get it nice and dissolved. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so we have then gotten the exact mass of these clean iron nails. And we're going to put that in there and it's going to say wait for about 20 minutes. So we've got iron with copper two chloride. Immediately, okay, immediately, you start seeing uh, some stuff yes. forming. What do you think is the stuff that's forming there? Okay, now rust would be a great, a great thing, but rust is iron plus oxygen. Okay, so it's probably not rust, but anybody else would care to guess what that is? The solid red material. Copper. Yeah, so it's copper. So basically what we think is happening is we think the iron in the nail is going with the chloride and then the, the copper and copper chloride sticks to the iron. Okay. So there's a chemical reaction happening. Now, iron chloride is forming, but we don't know which iron chloride. Plus two or plus three, that's the whole purpose. So typically we would wait about 20 minutes. Okay, so we went now. So for the because we don't want to wait that long while we're doing this, um, I'm going to show you what we'll do from here. So first thing that we'll do is we want to um, get off the copper. So basically, you'll pull, pull these out like this, and the best thing, best way we found to do it is like this. You want to try to get this off doing this, get as much as the red stuff off as possible. And one way to do that is you can scrape it, and if you take a squirt bottle. And wash it off and you want to get all the red off. Okay, so we're trying to get as much off as possible because every bit of that is data. So we're trying to get that off. Now, then what it says to do is it says to decant. And most people have never heard that term before. It's a really simple idea. The word decant just means that we're going to pour off the liquid and save the solid. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we'll get all that off. Now, do you think these are important to keep? Yes, because we've used up iron. I'm going to dry these and weigh them. If I do that, can I figure out how much iron was in these? Yeah. Do you think there'll be, if I weigh these, will there be more or less or the same amount of iron? Less, less because some has reacted to form iron chloride. Okay, so we keep these, we, we put these aside, we don't want to lose those. Now, to decant means pour off the liquid and save the solid. Okay. And then it says to wash, and you can see we've got some brown solid. Now, you'll have a lot more brown solid. solid. So we want to wash this off a couple of times, okay? You just pour off the, you want to save the solid, we just want to clean off that copper. Now, here's where the HCl comes in. There's probably impurities. Now, it turns out it is a chemical property of copper that it does not react with HCl, but all the other stuff does. So the goal is, let's put, we'll put a little bit of HCl in there, react with the impurities, get that off, again, decant off, Okay, and just wash one more time. So we'll do that two or three times. And then basically what we have left, guess what? Nice, clean copper. So do you think the mass of this copper is important? Yes. Right, it is. So we need to get that. So now we're going to filter. Now, here's the other part that you'll need to do. It's essential that you get the mass of your weighing paper. Okay, so you want to get the mass of this to 0.01 and we'll talk about why. And please, and I'll explain why in a minute, Put your name on here and the bell in pencil. You have to use pencil because if you use ink, it'll smear and run and you won't be able to read it. Now, watch how we use the filter paper. If I put it in here like this, it's not gonna work, okay? So, fold it in half. Okay, we fold it in half again. We get a quarter of a moon, okay? We take this and you see a nice, nice uh, dome right there. That sticks in there. Give it a little bit of water so it sticks out in there. Okay, now I need to get this out. We'll catch what goes through, which is called the um, uh, the filtrate, the residues left behind. I'm gonna get all that out 
and you'll have a lot more copper because you, you, you'll, you'll have more. And we just let that go out. Now, here's the great part about this. If you got the mass of this paper and we let this sit out overnight and dry, we can get the mass again. But what else is going to be in there? Copper. So we'll get the mass of the clean, dry copper that was formed. And do we have, the, will we be able to get the mass of the iron that was used in the reaction? Yeah. And that will allow us, hopefully, then we'll have to say, well, how can we use this to figure out how much of this iron three chloride is, is or iron two chloride, um, or which one is made? That's what we're trying to do. Because, and everybody's asked a great question. We don't know if it goes iron plus two or plus three. Hopefully, we should tell. Okay, great.